Ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be showing you the investments to make yourselves a ton of coin leading up to team of the year and Christmas so you can get a team like mine or even better. So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, strap in, and of course, if you do want some coins in a bit of a quicker way, well, if you guys are fed up of coming against sneaks like me and foot champs who use loans and OP cards from day one, I'm getting really sick of you! Get out now! Then you need to head over to MitchCactus.com where not only can you buy the cheapest and most reliable FIFA coins on the EA market, you'll find over 10,000 reviews from people who have used the services and enjoyed them in the past. So make sure to head over to MitchCactus.com and use code RECALL for 5% off. Now, of course, guys, when you are trying to make coins, do not forget to do your advent calendar upgrades. I know you don't get any direct coins out of it, but you get some free packs, which can always result in coins because essentially you can put those rewards in marquee matchups or something similar to get yourself some value out. And of course, Remember your preview packs. A lot of people forget them and we've been having some absolute blinders recently. The only other thing you guys might be forgetting where you can make some free coins is every icon SBC. If you pop in the first two sections, you've got Born Legend, Rise and Star. I don't need to say it. We've said it a million times, but all you've got to do is complete them to make a decent bit of coinage. And of course, head over to your daily upgrade. See where you're at with it. See how far you are. Have a look at the packs you can open because right now, there's a lot in packs that you can get in some of these packs that you're getting every day. And it's some easy, easy rewards. Now, right now, the easiest thing to invest with, realistically, is anything to do with the Premier Me Mixed and the Mixed League upgrades. Essentially, we've got, of course, with the League One and Eredivisie squads, there is a set of squads that are going to rise and go up and down throughout the day. If you can capture those squads and have a look at those, you're going to make a ton of coins. The other thing is, of course, investing in the future promos. We know that the likes of Joe Bellingham is going to be in it because, realistically, if there's a family promo, Jude Bellingham and Joe Bellingham, Bellingham, that is the perfect promo. So if we have a look for Jude, see how much he's going for right now. I can imagine he's already on the rise. Sorry, Joe, not Jude. Let's have a look. He's a bronze player from Sunderland. Now, obviously, I am a Sunderland supporter. I think we've already got a Joe in the club. But you can see there, he's actually only going for like 600 coins right now. There is a guarantee this man goes up in value. So you might as well grab three or four of them just on the odd chance. I'm going to whack them in my club. Realistically, he's not very usable for anything in game there are evolutions potentials with him and he's had some good evolutions in the past so that's kind of where you're going to be lying your bets on the other thing is you could bid on him and get him for maybe 150 250 you can do this with a lot of the brother combinations if you have a look at forum as well you've got marcus and you've got fair and forum as well so both of those are going to be ones that you can make a bit of profit on as you can see here forum or the menus have crashed now since they've decided to boot me off the game anyway and give me a crappy menu we're going to get over to footbin where we we're going to take our searches anyway Anyway, you want to head over to the active SBCs and we want to, of course, go over to the mixed league upgrades. Now, to predict or to invest and predict, these are kind of daily investments and you can do these at any time and they're not specified right now, for example, what you would maybe invest in tomorrow. However, we can work out how you would decide this. So we go over to Footbin, you go to the League One and Eredivisie squad, and we want to have a look at the completed challenges. So you can see here, most of these, when they are relevant or the, the most done one at the time, they're going to be around the 8K mark. But of course, as that goes up, it becomes 14, 15, 16, when you've got that being the, the main squad on there. So if we go for this one right now, we'll grab that squad there. We'll grab that squad there grab this one here and you can just have a look at the players that are going to be in these squads so this one here i mean let's have a look at who's going to be the the big one so you've got Sissoko, you've got Zandon and Traore, all of which will go up and down based on this squad's position in, of course, the rankings for footbin. So if you take yourself Traore, for example, a player you can definitely get on bid for 150, maybe and buy him for around 200 coins, you can make a very decent bid, doubling any coins off every single trade. Having a look over at the Eredivisie, we've got this guy here, Van der Kart. Um, he's going for 1,000 coins. He's a silver left back. If you get this when it's not the relevant SBC, for example, when it isn't in the top five, top 10 that one is going to be around 500 coins if we have a look at his card see how much it goes up and down so you can see he does persistently go up and down he was always 300 coins league sp's hit of course that's where he had his spike now he goes up to a peak of 2.5 his peaks at 1.7 there ones going down to the 800s there 700s and then goes up to one so he's a guaranteed player who's going to go up and down but you're guaranteed that in the end of it you're going to make coins as long as you picked him up at that 800 to 1.1k range he's eventually going to go up to 1.3 1.4 at some stage and of course we've got 17 days left of the league SBCs, just under three weeks which means we can absolutely take advantage of this your other players on the other side we've got Vren there once again it's going to be the same scenario he's going to go up of course league sbc drop there so he's absolutely sawn then we've got 
1.9s there. He goes to as low as 900 coins at some times. Then we've got one, 1Ks, 2Ks, 900s. As you can see when he's coming in and out of these squads. And you can actually upload the squads to Fitbin. So if you upload it and it becomes the most relevant squad, you can almost gear it towards the players that you're trading with. For the next squad, we've got Talby here. Um, lower, lower value a little bit. He's starting at 900 coins. If we have a look once again, Okay, when the league SBCs come out, if we scroll along, he goes up and down. He gets peaks at around maybe 1.3. So if you can pick him up at that 800, 900 mark. Often. Similarly, the bronzes here will all have a good value. We've got Innocent there, uh, Tossin. All of these guys will have the same concept of you being able to make a ton of coins when they're not the relevant squad. Uh, this squad, similarly, Udol there. He looks like one that's going to be an easy coin maker. Uh, you got Fally Kande. Do any of the bronzes here? If the bronzes have a 1k mark, you can make an absolute ton of them, but you can see most of the bronzes don't have a value. It's usually the silvers or silver rares that really come in clutch there. And what we can do is if we go all the way to the bottom and open up some of the lowest squads, we can see which are going to be the next most likely to be in circulation, where they will go from bottom to top very quickly. You can see here, Nice, this one's going to be a squad that's constantly uh, available as part of this. and It's constantly one that is shown. I'd say Marseille is the other one where there's going to be a few players constantly worth picking up. You can see a lot of these guys are just sat at 900 coins. They're pretty flat out. Very, very even squad here. Everyone is pretty much exactly the same value. I think maybe even Laborde uh no no yeah they're pretty much exactly the same so all of those guys almost identical in the pricing not much in it between them if we have a look this one here same squad and uh, we've got this one here psv um looking at the value of the squad 9.1 you're probably looking at a well-rounded squad as well when you get to the gold ones of course you want to be going for the commons with the silvers you go for the silver rares but gold rares there's not as much in it for your investments here uh to make any profit i would say the silver cards are the better ones to invest in you've got a kind of more stable pricing on them gold but as i say silver is where the rise is going to really happen here's another good example of one of the squads of course we've got a silver rare here sadiq he's going to go for 1.2k he's definitely a good one to pick up we've got van bommel there 800 coins 800 coins the bronzes with high value are the ones you absolutely want to just wrap you're going to make an absolute ton of and the other thing that's going to make you guys a ton of coins is of course subscribing to the channel because we've got this absolutely unbelievable team if you want an unbelievable team or a better team than mine whatever it may be make sure to subscribe the channel is rapidly growing and i appreciate all the support so make sure to stick around and i'll see you guys tomorrow